Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting opening trap that you can play with black and you can crush your opponent traded 2400 below on chess.com or leeches. I defeated my opponent traded 2300 plus on leeches with the same trap and I have played this line thousand times. And I am inspired by German chess master Adolf Anderson who used to trick his opponent really well in just 16 or 17 moves. So we also have a very brilliant game in the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. So without further ado, my opponent started the game with this e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6 and we go for the Italian game with this bishop c4 and two knight defense with this knight f6. And we can play many moves possible. You can play this knight to c3 which invites this knight to capture. This is another trap. If you really want to see, you can click the link in the description. So after this knight move, my opponent just goes for the d3 or you can also just castle. So after this d3, bishop is just coming on c5. Now white just castled. We have d6. And I am already threatening this very wonderful bishop just pinning the knight and my knight would be jumping to d4 square. That is why he just pushed the pawn. Doesn't allow this bishop to pin this knight but that's what we wanted and we have h5 a very wonderful move obviously this would be considered a mistake if you evaluate with the engine and this is not the way to go and the best move here suggested for white is to play c3 and my opponent finds the best move in this position with this c3 but now i am giving the bishop for free so whenever we play a high rated opponent like he is having 2300 plus rated on leeches it is a possibility that it is definitely a possibility that he will definitely go for the sacrifice because he can defend well and i knew this and he just accepted my challenge and when he accepted this i was really really happy because after this uh, we are having good game so now the knight is under attack knight can just retreat or you can jump with the knight so knight jumping on the g5 looks really brilliant we go for this f7 pawn already but now the surprising stuff with this g3 and we don't care and we invite this knight to capture on f7 square and my opponent goes for it and we see this position and this is the same position in the thumbnail and now you would see this queen is hanging rook is hanging but now we go for this brilliant queen sacrifice we are sacrificing another piece and my opponent accepted this challenge but now we have to spot this bishop check earlier when i used to play this line i used to forget when to capture with the pawn or and when to capture with the bishop but this is really a time to capture with the bishop because your pawn would be helping out in the end game after this bishop capture rook capture we have the pawn capture which attacks the king, king move and now we are winning the queen back with this rook check. So king move, we have this rook capture the queen but this king cannot capture this rook because we are threatening to promote this pawn to a queen. That is why this pawn is required in the end game and my opponent plays uh, the only move possible to prevent this but this is not enough. And we just eliminate the knight and we are just offering the rook offering the knight if you really want to capture offering the pawn but the pawn is getting just promoted so if you really capture this we save the knight or we just capture this bishop then the knight hang and we are completely winning that is why my opponent captured this with the king but now the pawn is getting promoted and this is this was the worst move he played with the king capture but now let's see he captured with the king and after few moves he just resigned the game we played some more moves because now we just go for the bishop and the bishop is completely lost if you don't save it with the rook so rook is saving it pawn capture king move and now after this move 23 my opponent just resigned the game and i thought okay that was really a brilliant game and i wanted to play like this seeing the adolf anderson game so now let's check out another variation after usual developing moves when we play this bishop move and invite this bishop to pin the knight not going for the c3 so 
you could also expect right away this bishop move now we would talk about this now you again offer the bishop and if you accept the challenge after this there are two possibilities either to go back or you can go with the knight to h4 so let me show you one of my opponent played the knight to h4 but again the pawn push this is the universal pawn push you need to remember this so now the knight is jumping he attacked my pawn but this is absolute blunder and now again we see another brilliant move with the knight capturing the e4 pawn and we are hanging our queen and if white just goes for this again the same is happening with the bishop capture rook capture pawn capture king is moving a rook check and the same thing will get repeated but this time white is having this knight move but we just capture this rook and obviously we are not promoting the pawn to a queen but we capture this bishop in the next move and having the two rooks we will definitely win the game against this uh, a bishop and the two knights this is completely winning and there is no way that we can lose this game so after this you your opponent might try this knight back not going for the knight to d2 which hangs the rook but we have this very surprising move a rook check and we picks up this knight so king move and we just pick up this knight and pawn is just getting promoted now let's check out the another move after this he could also just go back with the knight but again we have the pawn push and he would see the knight move will not do that much pressurizing this knight because again we could just give up the queen and if you really capture with the queen don't accept this uh, then this is good means this is the perfect way to play this game and after this queen capture you need to find very special move with this okay not with the queen move first we just capture with the pawn first attack the king with a check so rook capture and now you play the queen to d7 offer the trade of queens and in the end game you would be left with the two rooks against the bishop and the knight so this would be really good because after this bishop capture you are having a good game but you could also expect this bishop move this is a very tricky line and you could trick your opponent by capturing with the rook because not with the rook with the queen because obviously this rook is pinned and this is obvious blunder you could also expect another move after this queen capture king capture and if your opponent is really interested in the free pawn here then again we can trick him by the rook not here obviously rook to f8 and we just align the rook in this diagonal and this uh, rook on f2 would be dead for the free so we can eventually win this game easily so what's the good stuff here you need to play the queen back this is the absolute best defense and after this capture capture everything is good you can push the pawn attack the bishop you can go for castle you can play the knight move knight to d4 attacks the queen and everything is just good a5 you just want to bring the rook in this fashion as well so everything looks good here f6 also looks good so you would eventually win this game from here now let's talk about another variation where your opponent is not accepting your bishop so after this pawn push to h3 when we play h5 let's say bishop is going to pin your knight and now when you play bishop to g4 he is not taking and he is playing a natural developing move with this knight to d2 then you have a very standard move queen d7 and already we are piling up in this diagonal and we are ready to castle so you might expect this pawn capture so let's go for this after this capture there are two possibilities knight can go to h2 or this h4 square let's talk about knight h2 then we have the pawn push and now this knight is under attack you want to move it because this will come with a check the best move here is to capture with this bishop to f6 but he will definitely move the knight because this would definitely come with a check and this is the most natural move in this position but now you see the very brilliant move where the pawn takes this time we have to take with the pawn so rook takes and now the knight is jumping we just pressurize the rook and the threat is very simple after this bishop takes we have a check with the rook 
and which will pick up the queen in every way if you move the queen anywhere else we will pick up the rook and everything is just lost from the white side and we would completely win the game and if you expect this pawn push let's say this pawn push just blocks the bishop diagonal you run into this very standard trick which starts with the uh, rook sacrifice king capture and now we have the knight fork this very brilliant trick is working and once the king move anywhere doesn't really matter we just capture this and the game is all yours now let's talk about another variation where after this pawn takes pawn takes knight is not retreating to h2 square and it is going on h4 but again we have the pawn push knight to f5 this is the best recommended move we go for this g7 pawn and g3 pawn and is still keeping an eye on it but now we have very standard stuff knight to h5 which controls both the squares so obviously this is not possible and the game is really really tricky and he, white has to come up with b4 to save this game but if he plays like c3 this looks very natural we just want to play the pawn push in the center to block the bishop diagonal but the game is completely lost and now we find this pawn takes rook takes has to be played because you don't want to come here and go in front of some discoveries so let's say a rook takes and now the surprising move with this queen sacrifice that's the good stuff here and now if you accept or not this is completely lost let's say you accept this we have the knight move and that's it there is a checkmate in one and this cannot be prevented you can start giving up some material with the bishop sacrifice bishop here and you can deliver some of the checks like this but this would not help after this queen sacrifice king capture there is no way to prevent this rook and this would be a very brilliant checkmate let's talk about another move from here what happens if your opponent says okay still i will not capture your bishop and let's say c3 first going for this d4 idea then you have the knight back we just pressurize the bishop and once the bishop goes back we just take with this bishop and now we are not offering this bishop and we will bring the bishop back we will castle to the long side and the attack is on by pushing the g pawn push and you are most likely to win this game from here now it's time to show the very brilliant game of adolf anderson so let's get to the starting position so we have e4 e5 knight f3 knight to c6 and his opponent goes for the royal opus with this pawn push we have some developing moves like we always go for bishop to c5 and now knight this c3 first knight f6 and d4 is always an idea in this kind of moves when we play this c3 stuff so we have bishop capture this knight pawn capture and now white is going for castle so adolf anderson again going for the same stuff bishop just pins the knight and his opponent responded with the same stuff with this h3 then again the surprising stuff you already know we have the h5 we just uh, gave this bishop and his opponent accept the challenge and after this he's taking another pawn in the center which is obviously a blunder here the most accurate move is this d4 but who would spot this very brilliant move so knight takes the pawn but the game is completely lost and white could easily lose the game by one maneuver but adolf anderson already saw this move but he didn't like the position after all the variation let me show you show you here after this knight takes black is completely winning but you have to see all of this before playing this knight move because now we are threatening this queen move queen to h4 going for the checkmate so queen takes the pawn but now we have bishop takes and that's the good stuff again rook capture is the only option and the standard idea is working rook check king capture and we have the knight capture with the check king move and this is a really disaster after this knight capture everything is good for us but the problem is that ederson didn't like this position white is having three pieces for the queen which might be an ik 
equal position but you have to find very standard stuff you really want to win this game completely we have the queen move which is actual recommendation from the engine and now we go for both uh, both of this this knight and we go for the bishop after this check so knight should go back and now we play the queen back this is really wonderful if you really play any other move knight will just come in the game and this would not be that much winning so now we have the queen check picks up the knight and also the bishop so the king move is forced but now we see the castling and now the rook is joining the attack so let's say the knight is getting developed now white got the chance to develop this knight but now we are threatening checkmate in one so knight should retreat but now we deliver a check with the queen king move and there is no move white can just play if you try to fink it to this bishop in this fashion then we capture this capture this and all the pieces would be definitely hanging and if you try the only move which looks really good with this knight let's say we push the pawn first any of the move you want to start an attack in the king side with the pawn push so let's say he plays the knight move but now you can just sacrifice the rook after this pawn takes you have the queen check and that's it once the king move you capture this and that's winning so that is why playing this knight move would be met with all the calculation that we just saw so he thought okay everything is just winning just push the pawn and i told you this is the universal move but white can bounce back in this game by pushing the d4 which was played in the game but now we see this very brilliant knight takes the pawn and again you have to play very very precise and you just need to take this pawn and everything would be good but uh, his opponent played the queen move this time not allowing the queen to jump in the game and going for the checkmating ideas but now the game is completely lost and you already know the move we have already seen the pawn takes a rook takes and now the rook sacrifice so king takes has to be played and now this is a fork and in this fashion we just win the game so after few of the moves let's say uh, you play and what is the difference in this variation and the earlier variation now we have a bishop and anderson just won the game on the spot after two three moves so what a wonderful victory by adolf anderson and i got inspired by that game and we would like to see this position once more as well because this is the most remarkable position i have ever seen and for further updates you want to do something with the subscribe button and do like and comment in the video i will be waiting guys see you in the next video